Hi guys, it's VK from Hyperskill here and today we are going to discuss how to use cloud code but 10 times cheaper and also is it actually possible to use cloud code with any custom model we want? Let's dive into it. I will show you how you can do this on Mac. So we will copy first two commands, git clone light LLM and change directory light LLM. I will use warp for this. We are right now uh, in our special directory, which I created uh, for this uh, video tutorial. I will just paste these comments and execute them. So we uh, have to wait a little bit. I will just cut off uh, this uh, waiting process. Don't worry. A few moments later. So you can see uh, cloning is finished. And now we are inside LightLM uh, directory. We can just check this out and uh, Let's continue forward. Uh, the second step is create environmental file .env and put two variables inside. Let's copy it and then create a file nano.env hmm. and just put these two variables here. Later, we'll have to change this uh, open router API key uh, just to make it work. So we can double check that uh, file is created and content is inside. Let's go on. So the third step is uh, to create config YAML file. So let's just do pretty much the same. Create config YAML file, paste code here. Uh, actually, this is a configuration. And actually, pay attention that this is a specific configuration for LightLM, which will replace all anthropic models uh, with the open router Quen Quen3 coder model. Um, and basically, we will have here specific parameters like max tokens, uh, repetition penalty, uh, temperature, top K, top P. All these uh, are specific for this use case, so you can change it if you want, you can keep it. Let's go on uh, and uh, uh, complete the fourth step. Fourth step is actually create docker compose yaml file. Uh, we can just copy it and paste because it's uh, faster than edit existing one. So yeah, we just uh, will uh, make this uh, docker compose. You can see that it's already here and uh, we can just check. Yeah, we can delete everything. We just uh, remove all strings here and paste our config from the instruction. Save it. Uh, let's move to the next step, fifth step. And um, yeah, we can actually call Docker uh, and then change environmental variables. So right now I will go and fix this open router API key. A few moments later. So I replaced a uh, token and now we are ready to go further. Let's run our Docker. At first, we have to run Docker services on our Mac and just run this command. Finally, you can see that our Docker image was downloaded and our Docker container was started. We can even check this. Yes, LightLLM, LightLLM database. So we can even go inside any container and inspect it and uh, just look at logs. So yeah, you can see health check is complete. So yeah, um, let's go to our instructions. And now we have to export this environmental variables. I think I think we can just paste it in, uh, directly to the warp. And what else? Yeah, now we are ready to call our clot. Let's move outside this folder. Where are we? Yeah, we, we're here. So just call Claude. And yeah, uh, we trust this uh, project. And yeah, you can see API base, URL, local host. Now let's try, uh, is it working or not? Hi. Yeah, we can see that it is working and we actually can go to Docker, light of the lamb and just check logs. Yeah, you can see messages posting. So Hello, how can I help you today? That's it.
Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. And remember, always stay hyper skilled.